Previously, I found a couple of drawing mistakes in some of the Wings of Fire graphic novels, but today, I want to go over every single drawing mistake I found in the first Wings of Fire graphic novel, that being Wings of Fire the Dragonet Prophecy. Normally, Tsunami has some light-up scales around her eyes that look like this, However, on page 10, in this panel right here, we can clearly see her face, and her light-up scales aren't there. On page 15, Starflight's eyes are blue instead of the normal green. And no, this isn't because he's playing as Princess Blaze, as Princess Blaze's eyes are black. And also on the next page, we see Starflight as Princess Blaze again, and his eyes are green like they're supposed to be. Normally, Queen Scarlet has these red bumpy things along her wings. I'm not exactly sure what they're meant to be, but they're there, throughout most of the book. However, those red things are missing on her wings on page 61 when Tsunami stabs her with the sword. As well as page 66 when Queen Scarlet breaks into the Dragonet's cave. On page 85, we can see silhouettes of Clay in peril at night. Clay looks normal, as you can see his horns they usually stick up past his head. But Peril's horns are missing for some reason, even though they stick up straight just like Clay's, and we should be able to see them here. This next mistake is really interesting. On page 81, we see Peril fight against a sandwing named Horizon, and when we see his face, we can see he has a pinkish scar that looks like a scar he got a while back. However, on page 82, we can see his face again right before Peril kills him, and now his scar is bleeding red like it just happened. Now, you could say Peril gave him the scar, but I don't think that would be the case, as if she slashed him with her fire claws, it would probably burn his entire face off and not just leave a simple scar like this. And our final mistake has to do with the most underrated Wings of Fire character, that being Sunny. On page 20, we'll get a look at her tail, and it looks kinda weird. There's like a weird black spike coming off it that kinda looks like a tail barb, but Sunny isn't supposed to have a tail barb, so why is this little spiky thing here? Also, one quick nitpick I have about the first Wings of Fire graphic novel is that we really don't get to see much of Sunny's tail throughout the book, like we barely see it at all, when I feel like that's an important thing to show since one of her main character traits is that she doesn't have the tail barb that other Sandwings have.